Hey FDM team viewers, what's up? It's Kale, and um, sorry I didn't make a video last week, I was really busy, so I'm gonna make one right now, which was actually for last week's topic. So this week is do's and don'ts, relationship do's and don'ts. Um, so we'll start with don'ts to end on a more positive note. Um, so I think one of the biggest things that I, in my previous relationships, have had a problem with doing is that Bert is acknowledging that something is wrong within the context of a relationship. Um, I've, I've found that in my relationships, um, especially if you've put a lot of energy into it, um, so my past two relationships have both been about two year long relationships, so I've put a fair amount of energy into both of them. Um, so I, I've realized that, um, once you've invested a lot of emotional energy, um, it's much easier for you to close your eyes and pretend nothing is wrong because that emotional energy would be wasted if you were to say that the relationship didn't work. And so I think that it's really important to acknowledge that, you know, you can't just sit there and wait for it to get better because you either need to work on it to get better if you care. And if you don't care, then you need to get out of there because it's not fair to the other person or yourself. Um... So another thing I would say is living together at a young age is not a good idea. I did it with my girlfriend, um, ex-girlfriend, um, and that just was not a good idea. Um, we still live together now, even though we just broke up about two weeks ago, and so that was quite uncomfortable for the first week, and now it's decently better for we've both realized that it was the right decision, so that's good. Um, but I wouldn't argue that that's a good thing, just because, um, talk about more than an emotional investment, that's quite a physical investment to be living together with someone at a young age, and you know, I'm only 20, so that was a little, it just kind of happened, like, she came back from studying abroad, we lived together in the dorms, and then we just kind of kept living together for a really long time. So I don't think that's a good idea. Going off of that, um, I think it's really important to have separate worlds. They may be overlapping worlds, but I think it's important to have separate worlds. Um, uh, just because, you know, you don't want your whole world to crumble if you're no longer with someone. Like, you don't want them to become your world where, you know, they're the one that are the only ones that you feel you're close to. And that's a little detrimental because, you know, you're not always going to have them. And I don't mean that you won't maybe have them as a friend, but, like, it's important to keep those other connections. It's really important. Um, and then I would say the last one is just don't smother someone. Um, don't call them every hour. Don't check up on where they are all the time. You know, don't do what you wouldn't want someone doing to you. Like, if you want your own personal freedom then take your own personal freedom and don't impose on someone else. You know, if if they're the type of person who doesn't mind that, you know, it's obviously on an individual basis kind of thing. But I think most people don't really like being checked up on all the time. You know, um, so, oh, wait, sorry, last one. Don't judge. Don't judge them for what they do. If you like someone for who they are, don't judge them for who they are at the same time. That's going to teach them... And it's going to show them that while you like them or love them or however you feel about them, that there are things about them that they you don't like that they should, not that they should change, but that won't work in the long run. And, you know, that's, that's not something you want. You know, if you love someone, you should embrace them as a whole. And, yes, everyone has flaws. Everyone has flaws. And so it's important to remember that you don't want to be judged for your own behaviors. Why would you do that to someone else? Okay. So, um... The do's, slightly more optimistic, are the do's. Um, be open, be honest, share your feelings. Um, you can't be on the same page with someone if you don't tell them what page you're on. Like, you can't, you can't be happy in the context of a relationship if you're not honest about how you feel. Because how the hell could you possibly be honest, or be open and honest if you're, if you're feeling... If you're feeling trapped and you can't be open about something like that, or you're feeling depressed and you can't be open about something like that, then you're creating this wall between the two of you. Um, I don't mean you have to tell them everything. I mean, obviously, I think that some secrets, uh, depending on what they are, are, are still important to someone's identity. But, you know, you should be open and honest about the, the stuff that's related to the relationship. Um, I would also say don't lose yourself. Uh, within the context of a relationship, remember that you're still an individual person. You need to be able to express your passions and your needs and your wants and all of those important things. Uh, be happy for them when they're happy. This is a really important one just because, you know, it's so obvious, but, like, 
if you love someone, you should be truly happy when they're happy. And even if you're not happy, you know, something really good happened for them today and you're really happy for them. And that's, that's something that I think is important because it shows you care and it shows them that you, you know, it's not just a selfish thing. You truly care that they're happy. Um, I think mutual respect is really important as well. Um, you know, if you don't respect someone, I don't see how you could love them. Like, you have to be able to respect that they're a person and that they need what they need and that, you know, they deserve to be treated well. Everyone deserves to be treated well, in my opinion. Um, and then the last one I would say is just, you know, be able to call them your best friend. You know, they may not have been your best friend before you started dating, but eventually somewhere down the line they will turn into your best friend. And that's good, I think. And, you know, I don't mean ditch all your other friends, because I've already said that, but, like, you want to be able to find someone where you can actually, you know, have a really deep and wonderful conversation, but then also just have, like, a five-second superficial small talk kind of conversation and have both of them be equally pleasant for you. And so I think that those are really important things to remember in the context of a relationship. Sorry, I just rambled for a really long time, but I hope you guys take some of that and use it. Um, Peace out. See you next week.